Welcome back everyone to Catherine's Plates. This morning I've got my crock pot out, some delicious vegetables, seasonings, and we're going to be adding some chicken. We're going to make a crock pot creamy chicken stew. It's going to be very hearty, very delicious, warming, comforting, whatever you need for these cold winter days. Okay, if you're ready, I know I am, to get this started. Let's go ahead. Okay, the first ingredient we're going to work with is chicken. Now, I'm just using some large chicken breast here, and I'm going to dice this down into nice chunks, like bite-sized pieces. Now, you can also use chicken thigh meat if you'd like to do that, but go ahead and make sure that you are using skinless, boneless chicken for this so that, you know, it's really easy to eat. All right, I'm going to cut this up and then we're going to place this in the bottom of our crock pot. All right, so I've got about one and a half pounds going in. So you can do about one pound up to two pounds of chicken. Okay, let's go ahead now and talk about vegetables that we're going to chop up and put into our crock pot. Now, I've got a big yellow onion, two celery stalks, I'm going to add about three carrots, because we do like carrots and soup, and then I've got some russet potatoes here, about four of them. Now, if you want to use red potatoes or the little white potatoes, any potatoes are fine. And then, you know, I love color in my soups, because it makes it really nice to eat, right? So I've got a red bell pepper here. Now you can use any bell pepper you want. You can use green, the yellow, the orange, whatever you want, okay? So you can change these out or you know take something out if you want, add something to this. So let's go ahead and get started chopping these up. Okay, so I've peeled my potatoes and then washed them off and all I'm gonna do is just cut them in half lengthwise, cut those in half lengthwise, and then just make nice cube-sized pieces. You don't want them too big because you want it all to cook at the same time. So then what we're gonna do is add this to our crock pot. Okay, now I have my carrots here. Now what we're gonna do is cut them into thick rounds. Now carrots, you know, they're really a hard vegetable, so they're gonna take a while to cook. So we wanna make sure that we're not too big. I mean, you don't want a big piece like that in your stew. Okay, so kind of like that here, about a quarter of an inch. All right, let's go ahead now and we're going to add these to our crock pot. Next, I have a yellow onion here. I'm going to take the ends off, cut along the side right here, peel out the outer layer. Cut it in half, kind of cut it in half again, and then I'm just going to kind of cut them into chunks, because the onions tend to melt in the crock pot when they're in there a long time, so we want big pieces so we don't lose the onion. All right, let's go ahead now and put this in the crock pot. Okay, now let's finish off with these two vegetables. I've got some celery. I just cleaned them off and whacked off the ends and a red pepper here that we talked about earlier and I'm just gonna cut these into chunk pieces also. Load this crock pot up. <laughs> I've got a six quart crock pot here and we are going to load it up. Okay, so I have all my seasonings on a plate right here, and what we have is half a teaspoon of rosemary, half a teaspoon of thyme, half a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. I put half a teaspoon of black pepper, a full teaspoon of, where is it, salt right here, which is kind of mixed with the garlic. <laughs> now we're putting a full teaspoon of salt in there because we got a lot of vegetables and everything. 
and then we've got paprika half a teaspoon so i think that's everything we're going to go ahead now and put this all into our all over our vegetables did you say how much garlic and we got about one and a half teaspoons of minced garlic good catch <laughs> All right, now we gotta give it some liquid. Okay, we're gonna use some chicken broth or chicken stock, whatever you have, about four cups, which is this whole box right here. Now this is low sodium, so that's good. All right, we're gonna carefully stir everything together, get it all mixed up. Mm. Smells good already. I know, right? It's going to be a long day. Mm -hmm. Good thing we have things to do, work to do. Okay, look at that. I'm just going to kind of push everything into the liquid there. Okay, we're going to place our lid on. We're going to cook this on low for about seven to eight hours, or you can cook it on high for about four to five hours. We want to make sure that chicken is cooked through and really tender, and we also want to make sure the vegetables are very tender also. And then that is when we're going to start making this creamy stew, okay? That will happen after everything is cooked. Okay, about 30 minutes before it's done, we're going to go ahead now and take the lid off. I'm going to add about half a cup of frozen peas. Give it some more color in there. Now, I have a slurry, and it's about two tablespoons of some cornstarch with about a quarter cup of water. I'm going to add that to thicken up our stew. I'm just going to add a little bit of milk, about a quarter cup. We're going to stir this up. Now, you can go ahead at this time also and kind of give it a taste and see if you need to add any more seasonings, like some salt, pepper. All right, we'll place the lid back on it, and then we're gonna come back in about 30 minutes. Okay, look how hearty and delicious this looks. Oh my goodness, nice and creamy, thick, delicious stew. Let's go ahead and put this in our bowl. Boy, every bite looks like the perfect bite right there. Mm. Mm. That chicken is so tender, full of flavor. Mm. The potato was nice and tender. The carrot, did I get a carrot? There's a lot going on here. I don't think I got it all on my spoon. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Okay. It's very flavorful. So delicious. Comforting, hearty stew. Ready for your winner. Okay, give me a thumbs up. Make sure you comment down below. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification so you'll always know when shows like this one here are posted. Okay, I will see you on the next episode. Mm-hmm.